Howdy folks, thank you for tuning in. And today we're going to have a look at the Celestron Astromaster 102AZ. So AZ, as in alt azimuth mount, very easy to use and uh, set up. It does come with an accessory tray, even though I've not got it fit fitted for this video. And it is a 102mm refractor with 660mm focal length, so it's very compact. And as per a lot of the, well, all of the Astromaster and uh, Powerseeker Celestron telescopes, they are described as dual use. And by dual use, I mean you can use it for astronomy and terrestrial use. This includes some of the reflectors, the Newtonian reflectors that come with an erect image eyepiece. I, I personally am not a big fan of them, that, that's just me, you may think different, because I, I always thought that these EQ mount, not this one, the EQ mount reflectors are fine for astronomy, but um, using it with a um, erect image eyepiece with the prism inside that, you re reduce your field of view, you re reduce the visual and the apparent field of view and you probably get a little bit more chromatic aberration. So uh, when it comes to reflectors, I, I've always been a fan of advising customers when they can um, exchange the erect image eyepiece for a, a proper astronomical one like one of these which is a modified achromatic or a plossal eyepiece and enjoy the night sky. For dual use telescopes this is an AZ mount. It's ridiculously easy to use and set up. Um, excuse that, that's just to protect the dovetail. But all you do with this telescope to put it on the tripod, dovetail mount there, slide the telescope inside it from one side or the other, screw on two bolts, done. From opening the box to set up like this is about five minutes, even if you don't read the instructions and like, 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 like many of us do, and just straight out of the box, very easy to do. The other than put it on the mount, you've got the eyepiece here, fits in the diagonal, which is erect image diagonal, so, and also left right correct orientation. Simple as that. Out, out of the box, put it on the tripod, diagonal done, eyepiece done focus and you're good to go. And so this really is a good dual use telescope. 102mm lens so you're going to get lots of light gathering and compared to the 70mm yeah, yeah, there is definitely a step up in contrast and brightness. Um, because it comes with basic eyepieces that there is a little bit of well there is quite noticeable chromatic aberration or that red and colour red and purple colour fringing that you see around high contrast subjects. But I just tested beforehand with this telescope and I put in a, a decent quality plus eyepiece and that chromatic aberration straight away was instantly reduced. So um, whoever you buy this telescope from, hopefully from us, link in the description below. If you ask really really nicely, I'm, I'm sure the dealer will have one or two plus eyepieces kicking around if you wanted to upgrade. So the magnification with the 10mm is 66 magnification and with the 20mm 33 times and, and, and that's perfectly adequate for looking at the craters on the moon, many many colourful double stars, rich field star clusters and away from street lights you're going to see the brighter galaxies and, and uh, nebula. But uh, at 66 magnification, you're still going to see the two brightest cloud belts on Jupiter and its four moons, and you're going to see the rings around Saturn. But you can always up upgrade, uh, adding a Barlow lens or something like a 5mm eyepiece, get a good quality one, uh, if you want to look at the planets in, in more detail. But definitely, for if you're just starting out in astronomy, and uh, you want something that you can also look at wildlife even in the back garden. This actually focuses down to around about 8 metres and so it is a very very versatile scope. I'm not sure if you can do that with the Newtonian reflectors. And if you want to do a bit of DSLR photography making this into a 660 uh, millimetre um, 
short focal length solution sticking a DSLR camera on what you've got here is a, a T-thread and so you can get a, a T-adapter to go onto there a T-ring sorry click on your DSLR body, your SLR body or even a mirrorless camera and you're good to go for taking wide field photographs and something else that I noticed with this telescope and I just had a, a little try with it earlier what you do is you can take the diagonal out on the eyepiece but you can also remove this this extra adapter here eventually that there now accepts two inch diagonals I did try it earlier but the only one I had in stock was a was a prism diagonal and I couldn't quite get infinity focus but I'm sure that if you have a mirror diagonal um, you'll have no problem getting infinity focus and then you can stick a, a two inch eyepiece in and enjoy those glorious wide field of views so I'll just put this in a second see how easy that is to do so that's a quick look round the Celestron Astromaster 102AZ it comes with a red dot finder um, that there is no fitting I can see if you want to put a, um, a visual finder scope on there but by all means um, if you've tried the telescope let us know what you think about it in the comments below have you tried any different eyepieces, filters, barlows, have you uh, had success getting uh, infinity focus with a two inch uh, focuser uh, a two inch diagonal sorry by, by all means let us know um, your thoughts your opinions on this scope and uh, feel free to share it with all of us here so thank you very much for watching as always and please check out the link in the description below